Both solar array wings confirmed to be in the deployment process. Orbital ATK controllers and the Cygnus Mission Control Room continuing to report good news about the status as Solar Array Deploy continues. We have reports that the bolts from Solar Array 1 have disengaged and the Solar Array is about to deploy and unfurl. Cygnus Solar Array number two wing is about to unfurl.
You're looking at a live view of flight controllers from Orbital ATK in their Dulles Mission Control Complex overseeing the solar array deployment from the Cygnus spacecraft. This complex located in Dulles, Virginia, just outside of our nation's capital. We have a report that Solar Array Wing 1 is unfurling at this time. One hour, 15 minutes ago, the Atlas V rocket launched, beginning the mission of Orbital ATK CRS-4, Cygnus spacecraft flying on its own and unfurling its solar array wings at this time. Once that process is complete and the spacecraft is power positive, it will begin a journey toward the International Space Station. And we have positive confirmation that Solar Array Wing 1 has fully unfurled. Once again, this solar array deploy operation being overseen by the flight controllers in the orbital ATK Cygnus Mission Control Center. You're looking at a live view from that control center at this time, carefully analyzing their data. Cygnus flying alone at an initial orbit of 124 nautical miles, circular. And flying at an inclination of 51.6 degrees to the equator, the same exact flight path as the International Space Station.
On Solar Array Wing 2, we have reports of good motor drive. And we have confirmation that Solar Array Wing 2 is unfurled. At 6.04 p.m. Eastern Time, the twin solar arrays from the SS Deke Slayton II Cygnus spacecraft were confirmed fully deployed. We understand that power parameters look good. All the Cygnus systems are in good shape. We hope to uh, talk shortly with Frank DeMauro, Vice President for Orbital ATK Human Space Systems and the Cygnus Mission Director who has been here at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station throughout the countdown to fill us in on the current status of Cygnus and what is yet to come. And we'll stand by for that interview. And as you can see from the uh, applause in the Cygnus Mission Control Center in Dulles, Virginia, a final confirmation that everything looks great on the Cygnus spacecraft with both solar arrays de deployed and power-positive spacecraft.